So this method, I call it as the Dronacharya's ball retrieval method. So this is motivated by an incident in Mahabharata. I'm just showing you that incident here. So here you see that the Pandavas and Kauravas during their childhood days, they were playing with a ball. And this ball incidentally happens to fell, fall in a well. And you will see that how Dronacharya will be able to retrieve that ball from the well by using his archery skills. See that website in which the exam results are announced online. For example, here I'm taking this particular website. So, for example, if I'm taking the results of, say, the first semester B students. So, to collect the, to see, to view the exam results, we have to insert the USN, that, that is the student's registration number, and also this CAPTA. So, let me do that for the first student. Now the marks are displaced. So from this, I will be interested to collect the student registration number and his marks matrix. Since the header is common for all students, I will not do it as part of my selection. Now I have collected the information related to my first student and you see that it got accumulated in this panel here okay so therefore now let me go to collecting the information related to say the second student like this i will be collecting the information of all the 10 students now i have collected the information of my in student this is the information of my third student So this is the information that I am viewing for my fifth student and so on. This is a sixth student information I have collected now. information of the seventh student that I have collected. I have collected the information of my eighth student. the information of my nine student that I have collected. This is the information of my 10th student and so on. So right now I'll just stop here. Now if 
if I paste this information all in one shot, you see that all of them get captured in my or collected, get collected in my Excel sheet. And how are they getting collected? They're getting collected as a big master column. From this, this is of no use to me because they all got stacked one below the other. This is how in reality, the signals that are recorded from multiple sensors get stacked when one collects when collects them from a receiver. So now my next question is, I have this big master column. How do I So how do I segregate them student wise? For this, I've developed, we, you can develop a template using Excel by just merely setting formulas. So now I have taken this sheet, which I named it as segregate raw data student wise. This has three sheets. One, we call it as raw data sheet. This is where you see that the data gets segregated for each student. And is the place where I will paste the student list so that I can recover their name. So now right now you can see that in this segregate data sheet, all things are empty or all things are nil. Now take my data that I have just collected here. So this is the raw data sheet. Copied and paste it in the raw data sheet corresponding to segregate raw data file. Paste it here. you see that in this sheet all these informations all the day all the marks information that were stacked here they got unstacked or got segregated student wise now you can see here in this column b the student names is not there therefore what i do i will go to the student list and paste the student names here so let me go to my student list my student names are here so that if I go to my segregate data file, so if I paste it them here, you see that there is no names here as of now. So if I go to this sheet and if I paste it, you see that I get my student names. So this is done by using what we call it as VLOOKUP function of Excel. I found... Mm -hmm.